Good day. This very short video is going to explain how to use the RTLO hack, better known as the right to left hack, uh, and to, to make this very brief, in English and uh, many other Latin languages, the text flows from left to right. So when you start typing or writing out by hand, you start at the top left and work to your right and then down and so on and so forth. Other languages, uh, in particular Arabic, uh, work the other way. So there's uh, so Windows supports that, which is a good thing. However, there's a way to flip around the last few characters, or any number of characters really, but in this case, the last few characters of a, a file name to make it look like it's not what it seems. So there's a way to make an exe seem like a PDF or a txt file or anything else for that matter. So let's just show that to you. It's very, very simple to do. The first thing you want to do is bring up the character map. Every version of Windows from Windows uh, 3.1 on has a character map, so click Start, type in character, and you'll find it and bring up the character map. Um, so here it is, and what you want to do is go all the way down until you see the Arabic letters. And uh, in particular, you want to select uh, this one right here. Okay, so at the bottom here, you can see it's U plus 202E colon right to left override. So that's that character. And what you want to, now you'll notice in here when you see characters to copy, there's nothing there. Click Select anyway, and click Copy. Now watch this. I'm going to right-click on my desktop, create a new folder, or a new file. I'm going to call it invoice.txt, uh, and that's just what you'd expect, right? That's just a normal plain text file. And I'm going to uh, call, I'll just put some data in here, um, test one, how's that? Okay, gone. Save. Okay, so now I'm going to right-click on this, I'm going to select Rename. And I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to put a space, and I'm going to put PDF backwards, the letters PDF backwards. Then I'm going to move the cursor over to just before FDP, and I'm going to select Control V on the keyboard to paste in that character that I had selected from the character map above. And look at that. It's now invoice txt.pdf. Uh, now Windows still knows that it's a uh, that it's a text document. Um, so much the same way if, if this was an executable program. Uh, that was labeled PDF. It would run the it would run the executable. It but it knows that it's a it's an executable. And let's just show that. So here's a very tame program called Putty. Uh, nothing wrong with that. And I'm going to go into here and let's call let's make Putty a text file just to make it simple. So I'll call it txt. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to press Control V to paste in that character. And now Putty shows up as a plain text file. Um, but if I launch it, and I'm not going to do that because I have data in there. But if I launched it, it's going to bring up putty and um, that's an executable that's an executable file but uh, as an executable I can change that icon to anything I want and I can uh, and you can see that that text um, extension makes it look like it's a text document so I could take the text icon from a notepad document and make it apply here so that you think you're you're uh, actually working on a file that is uh, PDF or text or JPEG or something innocuous so I could go in here and I could call this invoice um, so I hope from this that you can see the danger in this and that you people will receive files that look like they're PDFs or JPEGs or PNGs or text files or something else that's innocuous and cannot possibly be infected uh, when in fact they're batch files or executables of some sort. So the question, the obvious question then is how do we disable that?